Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and whatever else is watching, my name is Nick and we are playing once more Dragon Quest Builders! Last time I found this guy over here buried underneath of yeah, dirt, dirt, a lot of blocks of dirt. Um, we also built this little room for Pippa to build stuff in. Uh, in between episodes, I kind of cleaned up the town a little bit, uh, filled in the hole. Uh, I got I dug a lot of earth from um, yeah. The building on top of the hill, uh, as you can see, you ha can have multiple items in, of uh, multiple of the same item in the same slot. However, there is a maximum of 99. You cannot have more. Then it will fill up another slot. I also added in another chest. In that chest, I pretty much put in uh, the remaining dirt that I wasn't going to use. And also the blueprints to have uh, their own chest and pretty much fill this one up with whatever else on materials I do not need at this moment to have on me. This time, well, we are going to see what Rolo is wants to do. So, let's see what he wants. Let's talk to him, shall we? Uh, yeah, what do you think I built this, eh? That's something I've be begun to understand, yes. Really? It speaks of me? Ooh. Hey! Start eating your beard, d uh, dude. What's wrong with my face? Uh, we went around the mountains, not between them or over them. Okay. Let me guess. You want me to build that? Sure. Give me the Gantling Chronicle and I can figure out how to build it for you. still don't believe me, eh? Really? You still do not believe me? Okay, yeah. One thing, the chimeras that we need for this, uh, they dwell around that spire in the uh, over there. However, 
that's also where the quest marker would lead us. Tomorrow, I'm first going to bed. Let's sleep. Yeah, if Rolly didn't get any time to sleep, you won't find him in bed the next morning. But yeah, the quest marker would want us to have... Yeah, wants us to go over there. However, you do not need to go where the quest marker is. Most of the time, chimeras are uh, to get chimeras and a lot of feathers. Um, it would be a good thing because chimera wings are really useful for going back home, yeah. But you find chimeras mostly on, on top of the mountains. So instead of going to the base of that hill... Ow! Allow me to... Youch! Ooh! Figured that one out! Camera ring, fastly tied fan of fluttering feathers, instantly transport you to your base. That allows you to... Please, don't hit me. Uh, that's one thing about the combat, I have to say. The hitboxes here are really wonky. But if you really want to get cameras, ouch. And that's why we have Seeds of Life. Seeds of Life completely heal you in an instant. And it also... Uh, ouch. Actually, how many do I need for the recipe? Camera ring, a recipe needs five. And you can get three of them. Yeah, it's... Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> I could just hit him in the head without him hitting me. Okay, I've got five, but do I want one, some more? Do I want to get six Chimera Wings? Then I need to kill five more Chimeras. Hey, usually they are around here. That's easy. Come on, up a little bit. Okay, then don't. Ouch. Woo! That one came up. Yee. Yeah, the hitboxes are a little bit wonky in the, in this regard. It's uh, now that's one thing about I have to say about uh, combat in this game uh, that I don't like. Ooh. And as you can see, I'm getting closer to the quest marker anyway. Ouch. But if I want to get off safely, then I probably will need to... Go back here, because that hill is a little bit safer to go down. Youch! Don't get, uh, don't shoot me with a frizz! Don't shoot me with a frizz! That's a frizz spell from Dragon Ball. Ow. Dragon Ball, Dragon Quest. I don't like Dragon Ball. Dragon Quest, I have to say. Ugh. It's That's also one of the reasons why I uh, played... Took me very long time to actually start Dragon Quest uh, at all. Because Dragon Quest is really fun to play. But the art style, the character design, is made by Akira Toriyama. And I do not like his art. Uh, well, he is also very much responsible, or the main responsible, for the Dragon Ball series. 
And I don't like that series, really. I do not like that franchise at all. And let's make as many as possible. Yes. If you make as many as possible, it will make the maximum possible number of uh, that you can. Uh, it's not always the desired option that you want to choose, but okay. You want to talk? Yeah, did you doubt me? So, that means you can give me the... Well, the Cantlin Chronicle for me to read. Yes. I think we established that one before. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why you have to get a lot of materials. Just try to get, well, as much as you can. Or as many different things as you can. And what are those tasks? I am working on that one. I do not know, but maybe it's best to focus mainly on getting the town together, unless you think that same thing that could bring it down is also... May hey, you know what? Maybe it's written in that Catlin Chronicle of yours. Can I read it? Well, actually, if I'm correct, Dragon Quest itself had just a golem to guard it. And it was a walled city. That, that, that's true. Maybe if you let me read that book, it will become clear uh, more quickly. You know, and he gives me a stick for it. Okay. Oh, you don't have anything more to say than who is the next one? Peppa! Hello! How are you doing? Do you want me to gather some more plumberries? Because I seem to have run out as well. Something to cook with, eh? Hmm. 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 Okay, you want me to build you a small kitchen? A cook fire. Okay, yeah, I pretty much already did that. Uh, I pretty, with the cleaning up, I've also made some preparations to create some rooms. Um, 
Let's see if they actually already created some furniture for us. Ooh, they made a door. I could use that one. They made a chest. I could use that one. They actually dig up some earth for us. Well, I could use that. Oh no, actually I still have 99. So the earth is going back in here. Stick, you're going in there. Chimera ring, you're staying with me. Now let's build, let's see, we had to make a cook fire. What is a cook fire? A cook fire requires a bonfire. And this is also why the things that you build also function again as ingredients for other builds. I need to make a bonfire. And uh, when I have the bonfire, uh, I don't have enough broken branches. Sufficient broken branches. Uh, and grassy leaves. Yeah. Okay. A simple stand built above a bonfire. Used for making mouth watering meals. Light source. Can be used to cook food. Yeah. The cook fire you find under crafting stations. However, it is also marked as a light source. So you don't actually have to put in a torch for the room. It, you, if you put a cook fire in a room, it creates it as a light source. So a cook fire can also create an empty room. So if I put, would place a door. Oh yeah, also if you want to have a door the way you place the door has an effect on in which direction it opens. I like to have it open inside towards towards the inside, so hence I'm placing it here. And now if I place it here, uh, yeah, you probably are wondering why such a big room. And that's for the future. It's an empty room and You know what, I can pl place it here as well. This is a crude kitchen. It requires one cook fire that also functions as a light source and a chest. So, a primitive kitchen for the preparation of un Residents will cook food and put it in the chest. Yes, residents will Create recipes and food for you. So you're no longer reliant on me to uh, get you some food. Hey? And as you could have seen, the Dragon Lord's magic of no longer being able to create no longer functions in this in the town. They made furniture and now they can also cook food. They create food. That can be a big help for when you are go run around. You don't have to... Yeah. Uh, but I have to try your cooking. Okay. And she gives us a plumberry for it. As you can see, it also functions as a crafting station. I don't have any eggs. Uh, I have eggs, where do they come from? I think chimeras can, uh, can drop them. A speckled egg fried fills the hunger meter by 20%. Shrooms on a stick, that's where you have the mushrooms for. A scrumptious skewer of barbecued mushrooms. 
fills the hunger meter by 20%. It's a lot better than plum berries. That's for sure. So, yeah. And that is pretty much, this now functions as, yeah, making food. And with that, well, hmm. Rolo, you have something for me. What is it that you want? Of course. Uh, what do you mean? Why do I need to make you something to eat? Pippa herself requested the kitchen so she could create her own food. Really? Yeah, so that Pippa could create her own meals. It's not like I'm giving her and waiting her all the food. You know, like the saying. Give a man a fish and he eats for, he eats for a day. We teach a man to fish and they will eat for a lifetime. I just gave Pippa a... Uh, uh, her lifetime supply of food, okay? Gathering and collecting is something you can already do, so... Yes, I collected some already. You want three? Ay, 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 ay. Why couldn't you have four? But yeah, well, you want three? No, not one shroom on a stick. No, it's three shrooms on a stick. Well, the mushroom she was talking about should be around here somewhere. Yeah, over there. And we collected already some mushrooms when we uh, rescued Rolo, so they should not be too difficult to, uh, to get, but it's getting dark. Let's get back. Let's get back. Luckily, you have a flag on your, uh, on your compass that allows you to navigate home pretty easily and Rolo why do we keep jumping in my bed that's supposed to be my bed this is your bed I put it down for you explicitly I'm the one who's lying next to Peppa not you mm. you mean mean man okay shrooms on the stick I can make 10 of them. One mushroom make makes at least one shroom, so make as many as possible now. He only wanted three. I'll give him three, the rest I'll I'll give him myself. Okay, here are your shrooms. Yes. Seriously? You know, all this talk about food, I'm actually getting hungry myself. <laughs> okay. You ate them all, didn't you? 
Builder is just fine. And if you want to say co cooker isn't a thing, it's then chef. That's... It's the chef, okay? Not cooker. <sighs> yeah, may I uh, read that? Preparation of art? Okay. So, would you allow me to read it? And yet you keep mentioning it. You know, if we would read this book, we probably would uh, instantly decipher it and Rollo would be completely useless. So that's why he thinks only to let himself see that book and then... Uh, Yeah, lazy bum, at least, for... Fine, 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 if you want to ma make yourself useful. But, you know, I could have deciphered it longer before you could uh, do anything, so... Yeah. Hey, he at least gave me one back. I hope he didn't nibble on them. But hey, he isn't completely selfish. At least he gave me one uh, thing bad back. Although Pippa gave me two. So, yeah. Okay. So. Let's see. You have another. Which cross is that one? Oh, it's that quest. Hey, 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 don't stand inside me. Yeah, well, it, not so close. That, that, that. Really? You know, if I decipher it, it could go faster, you know? Two people's deciphering is always uh, a little bit uh, faster. Yeah, this is a base building uh, quest. By completing rooms and placing within them items you create, you can increase the level of your base. Right. Okay. Correct. How about bot? Okay, an earthen urn that can be used to store one's personal property. Score 15, 50 points. Okay, this is, yeah, the base level. And you need to increase your base level in order to progress the story. Um, if you pause, if uh, actually if you look closely to the left, uh, upper left corner, you see a yellow bar with base next to it and level 1. You have to fill up that bar. You do that by adding stuff into rooms. As you can see. With the current rooms that I have, and, and it only uh, counts the kitchen, the workshop, and the bedroom that I created, I have 1370 points. I can put... Yeah, put furniture in there to add to those points. In total, I would have to have 
1700 points in order to reach level 2. I can do that by putting in, yeah, additional stuff. Do you have created some? No, you created Ben. Yeah, Pippa, all's well. Yeah, I know. He's taking my bed! But, yeah, that's one of the things. If people are in here, it, sometimes it's hard to uh, trigger the right thing. Sometimes you're going to start talking to them. The other time, you're going to... Okay. I just got a message. Yeah, um... One thing you want to do is... Have some pots. And I need... Let's get me. As you said, it's 50 points for a pot. I need more goo. I need more goo. <sighs> okay, I've got the... Yeah, I know. I know. Am I allowed to build? Okay. I wanted two more pots. That's what I wanted to have. Now I also need one more chest. You probably are wondering what am I doing and a straw door. But I will explain. So one thing I can put in, uh, you can see if you or go outside and enter a room how many points a room has in this case 450 that's a stonemason's room if I add a pot to it it will add 50 points to it that is four the walls the floors and the furniture inside all count toward a room so I can now go around and place pots everywhere but I can also make a new room and there is one room in particular that I think is very well suited well it's something that you can add in every chapter but you're not gonna be using it much and that is this one you probably are thinking, hey, why is it so big? That's because I'm going to use it for something else as well. To have something else. But this is a pot chamber. A room packed with pots. You can peek inside them, but there's nothing there. Residents will build pots and put them in a chest. So Rolo and Pippa will come in here. And as you can see... This is much faster because not only do you get points for the furniture and the walls and everything, you also get points for the recipe itself. Making more rooms is better, is more often better at this point because we can always fancy up rooms by replacing walls and everything because now everything it looks like dirt but yeah you're impressed only for that Remember, a pot was just 50, so with these pots alone I have 250, a chest was also 
50 and everything, I think... Yeah, the recipe itself adds 50 as well. I will not grow not only by the weapons you wield and the armor you wear, will you? Your might as a warrior increase. Okay. Of course. Seriously? Why don't you give me the book? <sighs> Here what? Ooh, he gave me a seed of life for that one. That is a different icon and an icon for another time. Um, let's see. How much did that chamber add? The chest is 50 points. A pot is 50 points. That's six, that's 300. A single torch is 10 points. That's 310. And the room itself is worth 560. That's how valuable room recipes are. So instead of just stocking them up with a shit ton of pots, all your uh, rooms, just build another room. Build another basic bedroom for people to sleep in. Build a pot chamber. There is another chamber that you can make in every single, uh, how do I say it, every single uh, chapter. But I will not go into that chamber until, well, the final chapter, when it actually becomes a little bit more relevant. But, yeah. We got a base to level 2 and Rolo kinda has something for us that I do not want to tackle today. Instead, I'll leave that to tomorrow, or uh, tomorrow, uh, next week, in the next episode. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. If so, leave a like. And if not, leave a dislike. But please also tell me in the comments below what I might improve for the future. To make my let's plays better. Thank you all for watching. And uh, I hope to see you again next time. Bye.